All right, so this is one of the big ones of React. And this is called state. Now, state is just an object that is inside of every React component. Just like these functions, it's inside of every React component. All right? Now, the rules are the following. Whenever the state changes, the component renders again. That's it. Whenever your state changes instead of the component, the function render will happen again. The, as simple as that, all right? So the way we create our first state, like when it's gonna load, we're gonna call this a state, and I'm gonna say that uh, uh, greeting, hello, all right? And here I am going to say this state, hey, greeting. Now if I go here, and we refresh, it says, hello, no problem, all right? Now, we already know what this function is doing, component did mount, so let's look at it, let's, let's work with it. When the component mounts, I'm going to wait for five seconds, and then I am going to update the greeting string, all right? So I will say that after five seconds, five seconds here I'm going to update this the greeting now you don't update the greeting like this something else never this never the state you should never write directly into it all right we can save and we can go see what happens it says, do not mutate a state directly, all right? Why? Because if we do this, all these functions and all this configuration and all the render things doesn't work, all right? So if we want to update the state, what we should do is we call another function, which is called this set state, oh, set state, all right? And here, we will create the new state that we want for our application. So, I will say greeting, hello again, okay? Now, this means that whenever the component mount, did mount, I am going to change the greeting inside of the state for hello again. And if what I'm saying is true, then the render function, we will call again so greeting here is going to change let's see refresh it says hello and then it should say hello again it says hello again after five seconds so as you can see this is the same the difference is that i am rendering greeting from here now i'm not rendering greeting anymore from here so the, the first this is the way we load the component with a default state, but then after the component did mount, I create a greeting hello again after five seconds, all right? Now, if we do this, maybe you guys don't wanna wait five seconds, let's see what happens. The component is gonna mount, renders and yeah, it mounts and it changes automatically. So we have to do this so we can see. Let's just do two seconds. So it says hello, and then it says hello again, all right? If you can see it, here we go. It renders, it says hello by default, and then we update the state. So as you can see, it's very cool the fact that we can change the state, and then it will automatically update the render function with the new greeting in this case, all right? So this is how state works. You have, all you have is to remember, whenever you update your state by doing set state whenever you update it the render function is going to get called again with the new state all right are we good if you have any questions remember to leave it on the comments but all you have to remember is this we're going to talk a, talk a lot about state later so don't worry we're going to practice all right so remember whenever you change the state the function render gets called again with, of course, the new state.